Good morning. Welcome back to Happily Ever Eden. My name is Faith Eden and we are doing Halfway to Christmas, Christmas in July. Good morning. Welcome back to Happily Ever Eden. My name is Faith Eden and we are celebrating halfway to Christmas, Christmas in July. And today we are painting our Nutcracker. He's back here. So he's already painted, but I'm gonna show you the boring process of me painting him. My camera was going in and out. It would turn off and then turn off. It would turn on and then turn off. Um, so I don't, as of right now, I don't know what kind of um, footage we captured with that but anyway today we're doing the garland and I'm really stoked about the garland I have my tools and my necessities to make the garland so we are doing that today and then we're also I'm really excited about this we're also celebrating with our Christmas dinner tonight we've invited a couple friends over my best friend in the whole wide world her and her husband are coming over tonight and we're doing ham potatoes my husband makes like chef's kiss legit a gourmet chef's version of sweet potato casserole it is not dump out the can and throw in some marshmallows and move on with life like he uses um i think bourbon yeah he uses bourbon um it's like a whole art for him to make this okay we are finishing up our garland so you're gonna be a part of that with me and then i found i'll show you everything that i i found afterwards because i went back i went back to hobby lobby picked up a few extra things just to you know give it some oomph give it some oomph to the garland because it's gonna be a major centerpiece this christmas for us if you are interested in hanging out for halfway to christmas and you want to see how i make my garland and <laughs> kind of maybe watch me paint a nutcracker he's supposed to be okay so there are so many people that have purchased those beautiful huge nutcrackers and they're gorgeous and i looked them up to see what the beginning prices are and most of them start at 600 dollars and they go up from there and your girl ain't doing that one my house is not built for that it does not need that big of a nutcracker so i found one from hobby lobby who i decided that i would paint and put him actually right back here on this white wall so That'll be for Christmas, not for right now. A lot of what I do in the July season for Christmas is really preparing for Christmas in December. Um, just because Christmas Day is actually very anticlimactic for me, if I can say that. It's like not exciting. Like it's exciting to wake up and the boys and everybody is opening their gifts, but then it's like, it's over. So it's really not all that exciting. So to me, it's everything leading up to Christmas plus the birth of Jesus, like that's always exciting. That is the reason for the season. However, um, the actual day in itself is relatively a bummer. In my opinion, I'm sure that that's a very unpopular opinion, but that's where I'm at in life right now. So anyways, we are going to do those things today. And if you're interested and you wanna hang out, let's go. guys editing faith here and i just wanted to touch on some things that happened in this video to bring a little bit more clarity i'm not sure what happened with my camera or with my storage for shooting but it tend it cut my clips in half um so i'm not sure what exactly happened but you'll notice that the editing is really weird and it seems like i bounce from one thing to another and there's no like consistency and that's the reason why it took clips and literally chopped it in half so there are segments where i went over all of the pricing for everything that i purchased from hobby lobby and it cut all of that out um i showed you the wiring i talked about the um Christmas PJ blouse I'm wearing. There's just a lot of things that I recorded that got cut out. So I do apologize that everything seems to be so spotty, but I hope that you enjoy it nonetheless and that it helps bring a little bit of Christmas to your July.
to this project of painting my own nutcracker i think that it's going to bring a totally different wholesome element to christmas and i just think that he's a really cute addition Okay, so we have our bags. This is our garland. So he doesn't look like much right now, obviously. Like you can tell it's just a not expensive garland. Okay, so I'm thinking the best way that I can go about this would be to lay the garland across the floor and kind of lay the figs, the figs, the sticks where I think I'll want to place them and then wire wrap them from there. So that's what I think we're gonna do. So I've watched a lot of Christmas movies this month in July, which is not really out of the norm, but I gotta say that my favorite is probably the Santa Claus with Tim Allen. What's your favorite Christmas movie? Okay, so as it stands right now, this does go the length of the living room. So we're good here. Now we just need to lay out our sticks. This was probably the most tedious part of doing the garland is going through each and every picks and sticks and removing the Christmas label from them and then cutting them apart to use them strategically, but it was totally worth it. Okay, you were probably able to identify before myself that these lights are not gonna be long enough. Okay, so the lights go up pretty nicely and then it stops. So I'm thinking, I don't know. I think I'm gonna cut from here and use that for something different and just utilize this piece right here. And that'll be okay, we can still make it look cute. Okay, so we made a committed decision that I cannot take back because I have cut it. There's the other piece. So this is what we're working with. And it's not gonna be long enough like what I wanted originally, but you know, we make it happen. I really feel having done this on the floor instead of trying to do it along a short table really benefited the entire process because I was able to lay everything out and start wiring it in one at a time, really making sure that where I was putting 
the picks and sticks was where I wanted them to be. And I think this helped me be able to create a fuller looking garland um, because I was able to kind of see it before I actually put it all together. I don't know about you, but I think that we're starting to shape up rather nicely. Okay, so now we've added these, and these are the, the biggest piece. Sorry, I'm watching a Santa Claus right now. These are the largest pieces for this whole thing. I didn't want to cut these up because I really like them the way they are, but I only have two. So we're gonna do one on this end, one on that end. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to get excited because it looks like it's starting to come to life. And I'm so excited. Okay, so now we have the frosted berries laid out with where we're gonna place them. And then after this, we're gonna do the darker raspberries. We are coming along. Look at this. Look at this. We're achieving greatness over here. Okay, friends. So there is, again, no ending to this video because my camera cut clips in half and the ending that I filmed was cut about a quarter into it. So this is the ending. I hope that you like the DIYs. Thank you for hanging out with me for Christmas in July, halfway to Christmas. And I hope that you'll stick around because we're going to be making some other fun content. Thanks for being here.